Welcome back everyone, Phoenix3 here, and I'm going to be talking a little more about Pokemon Tournament, but this is going to be something different. And this is going to be about my experience and how you choose characters to represent like a, a cast or whatever. For me, there's a general rule of thumb that I like to follow, and that's how your cast be as diverse as possible. Even if you do choose um, a certain specific type. Now, this philosophy is usually um, used with uh, humans, I guess, when you start putting people into your main cast. Like, how many are male, how many are female, how many are fat, how many are skinny, how many are tall, how many are short, um, etc. Like, there's a checklist of things that you go through. And for the most part, all animators, um, content creators, character designers, they, they all follow the same rule or a rule similar to it. Now, I'm making a movie that is 100% about birds. Any bird species out there, um, they're possibly going to be in the um, as part of my main cast. But they're not all raptors and they're not all songbirds, for example. There's a, there, there's a bunch of them. And they all share different body types even though they are um, uh, the, the, the same uh, body type I guess would be the right way to say this they're all part of the same species but they all look different and the best way to do that is to design your characters and then look at them and honestly ask yourself is my cast diverse are the characters that I'm going to be showing to the public different enough to where people don't consider them the same character, just a recolor? And we have to ask ourselves that to hear about Pokemon Tournament. Like, of course, this here is all the characters. Now, a lot of people might actually say, well, I mean, the roster is uh, pretty diverse. <coughs> Excuse me. But a lot of people will say the roster is pretty diverse. Um, there's, there's there's nothing wrong with it. But to a, uh, a graphic designer, an animator, um, a character designer, which I happen to be all three, see a fundamental flaw with the way the characters are presented. And maybe you don't see it, but you have to look at it like this when you take these characters and put them in the silhouettes what do you see what immediately stands out to you like for me what immediately stands out to me are the fact that there are two Pikachus here they both share the exact same body type like there's nothing fundamentally different about these characters in terms of uh, silhouette they're the same size the same thickness uh, they're the same character for the most part. And that's the way most uh, designers will see it. We try to avoid things like this. If we want to have both these Pikachus be in the game, then sure, we can have both the Pikachus in the game. But we got to fix them up somehow. Maybe we make this Pikachu feel different than this one. And you can change the way all that works simply by the way the character looks. Um, what else immediately stands out to you? What stands out to me are Lucario, Blaziken, Weavile, and Sceptile. These characters here immediately stand out to me. So when we're looking at the roster, now keep in mind, this is supposed to be a Pokemon game, which at its core is aesthetics for the most part, is the way all the characters are designed. No one character feels like another. But here when we look at the game, we see this now the reason I bring this up is because I'm seeing a lot of people still post on different forms that they're playing it way too safe with the roster now when you look at the silhouette versus this year would you tend to agree with that the only character that truly feels different is Suicune it has a completely different body shape it has a completely different uniqueness about it 
it doesn't look like any other character here. It doesn't look like, or it doesn't feel like any other characters here. All the characters here are simply bipedal Pokemon that either fight like humans or just share that common body type. Now, like I said, this here isn't something that is an automatic um, like hit on it for the most part. Like, you could have an entire cast of bipedal characters and nobody would care. But it's about the, the aesthetics. How do these characters look? The reason I don't count Machamp on the same thing is because Machamp fundamentally feels different than every other character. You look at his silhouette. He's a big, hulking... He, he's a big guy. You know, Machamp doesn't feel like Weavile. Machamp doesn't feel like Lucario. Machamp feels a lot like Suicune. If you were to take all these other characters out, Machamp would fit perfectly in here, and so would Pikachu. But when we start looking at the core of everything else, like Weavile, uh, Sceptile, Gardevoir, Lucario, and Blaziken, this is five characters in the roster that fundamentally feel the same. They don't offer anything new to the cast. Gengar is completely round. Gengar offers something new to the cast. Now, I would also be inclined to include Charizard along with the uh, five that I just said. Now, when it comes to characters like Charizard, simply having wings or tail doesn't really add anything to a character's body type or silhouette. Sure, it adds uniqueness to the character, but it doesn't really add enough to where... It feels like the character is truly something different, like Machamp does. Machamp doesn't have to have the extra set of arms. Machamp is just simply a big character, which you don't see on this roster. And that's the uh, that that's, that's kind of the way that a character designer will look at it. Somebody might say, "Is like, well, your characters look cool," and you know, they, they do look cool, but when we're trying to represent the Pokemon world here, which is what I want this game here to do, we have to look at it not like this as the colorful characters. We have to look at it like this, and then you have to honestly sit back and say, okay, so out of all of these characters here, who don't we need? What do we need to add to make this, uh, this cast, this roster, as wacky as possible? How do we get people to remember this cast here? And that's to change up the body types. Like, technically, we have six Pokemon that are aesthetically the same. Seven, actually, if we uh, take out one of the uh, Pikachus. But technically, that only leaves Machamp, um, Gengar, Suicune, um, and possibly one of the Pikachus, and one of these other seven characters here. Like, that's technically only five characters that fundamentally feel different from the rest of the roster. Now, these characters could simply be here, but when we're looking at it in terms of this, we could see why the uh, Pokemon community is kind of in fear of the uh, roster choices. Like, at the end of the day, we really don't know who's going to make the final roster. We simply don't. Not even I know who's going to make the uh, final roster. And I've got someone sharing information with me. You know, all of this can change in a heartbeat. You know, I'm looking at posts and stuff on the forums and, um, <coughs> excuse me. But, um, people are saying, you know, they're playing it way too safe with the roster. There are way too many bipedal Pokemon and Pokemon that fight like humans. Now, when you look at this silhouette, I mean, would this person be lying? I mean, this that that's a fair that's a fair um that's a fair statement if you ask me. And I can see why the Pokemon community is a little um scared of how the roster is being handled because, you know, outside of Suicune, everything else looks the same. And it's like, well, how do we fix that? Well, we need to add some other things in here. And I know people are, are suggesting that they add uh, Pokemon, like, joke characters. 
And I simply don't want any joke characters in the game. Um, I'm pretty sure nobody else wants joke characters in the game. I'm going to take this game seriously. This uh, Pokemon game here is... It, it, it is a new region. Just like the um the Ore region for the uh, Pokemon Coliseum and XD Gale of Darkness. This is, this is a new region, so we have to treat it as such. Now, my uh, question pretty much goes back to all of you. And I want you guys to answer this honestly. And if you can, tell me your answer to this in the uh, comments below. <coughs> Hold on, excuse me. I got to take um, a sip here real quick. My throat's really dry. All right, hopefully that's much better. But um, in the comments below, I want you guys to tell me your pick, um, your answer to this question. In this region, all trainers have exactly one Pokemon that they battle with, as per their rules for this uh, game. One Pokemon that they battle with, and another that they use for support. <coughs> um, I do not know what's going on right now. I want you all to pick one Pokemon that if you had to pick, what Pokemon would you use to represent you? What Pokemon would you use to, uh, if your life depended on it, what Pokemon would you pick? And I want you to use that pick and think about the roster for Pokemon Tournament. If you had to absolutely enter a tournament with one Pokemon... What would that one Pokemon be? And you'll be surprised to the things that people say. Like, if I had to pick absolutely one Pokemon and one Pokemon to use for support, my support would be Vaporeon. Because Vaporeon is the perfect support Pokemon. And the one that I would use to represent me in battle would be Pidgeot. Now, I want to hear what are your favorites. And, well, not, not your favorites, but the one that you would absolutely use to represent you in battle. The one that you would use to support that Pokemon in battle. We're not going to see things like um, Magikarp or uh, Sudowoodo. Might not even see any Dittos. Because even with Ditto, you have to have extensive knowledge on how that Pokemon even works. In order to use a Ditto at, um, at a high level. So simply, if you don't know what a... What a Charizard wants to do, transforming into Ditto doesn't help you at all. Or bringing Ditto transformer to it doesn't doesn't help you. And you will potentially lose that match because you just don't know anything about that Pokemon. The reason I ask this question is because a lot of people want to see a certain Pokemon be put into the game. But there's no reason why they want this Pokemon here. So I asked this question as a um as a way to try to God, get some answers for that. It's like we all know that they're gonna make the the choices for this roster based on how different <coughs> a Pokemon feels from another one. Oh my God, there's something stuck in my throat. I don't know what it is, but it's bothering me. Oh my goodness. Um, wow. <coughs> I mean, I'm sorry about that. But, um, when it comes to things like this, everybody has an absolutely, like, Pokemon that they would use to represent them. A Pokemon that they would use to help them out in a battle. A Pokemon that they could rely on. And a lot of times, these Pokemon are their absolute final stage of <coughs> okay I'm dying over here I don't know what the problem is but these Pokemon are going to be at their final stage of evolution we're not going to see somebody take a Charmander into a competitive environment where he could possibly come up against a trainer that has like a Latios or something like that but I asked that question just so you guys can get a sense of how this game should be like, put yourself in the mindset that these Pokemon have trainers. And it... <coughs> wow. 
But um, get yourself in the mindset that these Pokemon have trainers. And as a trainer, these Pokemon... Or as a trainer, these trainers will want to win. So, they're going to bring the Pokemon that they think gives them the best chances of winning. <coughs> these Pokemon are often at their final stage of evolution. You know, a Pokemon that they can rely on. Okay, I'm probably gonna have to cut this video short because I'm, I'm dying over here. I don't even know what the problem is. But, that's basically all that I wanted to ask. You know, in the comments below, tell me, what exactly do, do, would you use to represent you? And then think about the roster in terms. And understand how serious this game should kind of be treated and not as some kind of write-off as another game that's potentially bad or something like that. But, um, if you guys did like this video, <coughs> you know, sorry about all the coffee and stuff, but this cold has really been kicking my butt. But, um, do subscribe to my channel, because I'm always going to be doing little videos like this for a uh, Pokemon tournament. Yeah, just stuff to cover the game. Maybe challenge the community a little bit. And be sure to like the video. Leave your comments below if you have any. And as always, I want to thank you guys for watching my videos. And I hope to see you all in the next one.